What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. Today we have something very cool and very special. I know it's been a long time since my last video, but today we are going to be creating a music bot. This was probably the most requested type of video for me to do. And again, if you're new to this channel, this is a channel where I kind of code a Discord bots, but instead of the traditional uh, you know, zero to hero, I'm just going to be coding bots here and there that you guys suggest for me to code and you can follow along. So I was suggested to have a music bot. So in this video, I'm going to code a music bot. This bot is going to have the command of playing a YouTube video, uh, skipping. So there's going to be a queue where you can queue up songs. You can skip the songs and then you can stop completely the bot and the bot will leave. Um, so this isn't a professional music bot because usually most music bots when you, you know, kind of uh, add them to your Discord server, they're usually made by people who spend hours and hours creating this crazy algorithm on how to queue uh, songs with different servers and what if the bot is in two different servers and all this. This is going to be a basic bot. So if you want to create it for your own server or sell it off to someone else who wants a music bot, then this is the video for you. Uh, it's not going to get crazy by adding the bot in multiple servers. Uh, we are, we are going to have a queue, which is going to help you if you want to add the bot in different servers, because I know some of you might want to do that. But mostly, it's going to be focused on creating a bot where you can play a YouTube video, and you can skip it, and you can stop it. That's pretty much all. So let's go ahead and get started. There are a couple things you're going to need to install on your machine. Or if you're running this on a virtual machine somewhere, you're going to have to install some things. The first thing you have to install is FFM PEG. This is how you convert the video to audio. And this is actually something you have to install on your machine. And there isn't really an easy way of doing this. There's no like one click installer. You have to go through this whole process of installing FFM PEG. So what I'm going to do is there's going to be a link in the description to either a video of someone else teaching you how to do it. Or maybe, just maybe, after I record this video, I might upload one uh, for myself, like a tutorial on my channel where I go over how to install FFmpeg. But if not, there's going to be a link in the description either way to someone else's video or my video if I do choose to upload that. The second thing we're going to need is YTDL Core. And this is something that we're going to add with NPM. And then we're also going to add the Opus script with NPM as well. So... That's all. Uh, you actually don't have to do anything through this pages right here. So the YT, YTDL core, you don't need to install it yourself as well as the Opus script. We're going to easily type that into the terminal and that's going to automatically install into our project. But you do need to install FFmpeg on your machine for this to work. Let's go ahead and open our project here. And this is where we left off. Well, it's kind of like a blank slate. If you guys have, you guys have no idea what the heck is happening on the screen. There is a bunch of tutorials on my channel, but I recommend for you to watch the basic tutorial and then also watch the command tutorial. And those two should get you uh, around this area where we have pretty much everything set up for the bot. And I also teach you guys some cool stuff in those videos as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is create the command of the play button. So when you do, uh, and we have, yeah, we have our prefix of the exclamation mark. So when you do exclamation mark play, it's going to start playing the song that someone, uh, you know, pasted into the command. So in play here, the first thing we might want to do is check if there is a second argument, because when you go to queue a song, let's just go into the Discord right here. When you go queue a song, this is the first argument, right? And then you have to press space and then type the URL um, of the song, right? So we want to make sure, I'm actually on the voice channel, so let me just leave. Um, you want to make sure that there is a second argument, there is a link to the song. So we're going to check if there is the second argument. So to do this, it's going to be very simple, I'm actually just going to open up this a little bit. We're going to do if there are no arguments or second arguments, which is, for, you know, in an array, it's number one. So if there's no second arguments, then we're just going to message the whoever sent the message that hey you need to provide a link uh, so we're gonna do message that channel that send and then we're just gonna send saying you need to provide a link and this is gonna allow us to make sure that there is a link 
or at least a second argument um, when someone's typing the play command. Uh, you also have to have the return here, so it breaks off uh, this case right here. Make sure you have the return there. Now, there's one quick thing I do want to say. This is going to be a pretty long video, but uh, actually, I might split it in between two. We'll see. But the thing is, um, we're not going to be checking for a URL for the second argument. So technically, someone, because uh, this might get a little bit intense and a little bit hard for this video, I might do this in a separate video as well. But let's say someone does something like this. We're not going to be checking that the second argument here is a link. We're just going to kind of uh, just go with it. Go ask if it was a link. We're not checking for it. I might do a, uh, you know, a video later on for checking the second argument as a link. If you already know how to program, you probably can figure this out pretty easily. Uh, but we're not checking if the second argument is a link. Next thing is we want to check that the person is in a voice channel. Because if you are calling a bot to play a song, you must be in a channel. So the bot joins that channel you're in. So we're going to do yeah, if, and then it's again, if not the message member, that's voice channel, voice channel. So if the, you know, if whoever sends the message, the member who sends the message, if he is not on a voice channel, then we're just going to do message that channel. We're just going to send them another message. Send, and we're going to say, you must be in a chat in a channel to play the bots something like that something very simple and then of course we have to oops not meant to do that we have to return uh, so it breaks off this entire case here one more thing we're gonna do is we are going to check the queue uh, and actually I forgot to do it up here what we want to do is we want to create a variable of all the servers where we're going to hold all our queues for all the songs that are being queued. So we're actually going to create a variable and we're going to call this variable servers. That's going to be equal to an open array here. So here we're going to store all of our queue songs. So it's easier. Now we created all this, but we forgot to add the two things. We need open script and YT DL core. So we're going to open our terminal, which is control tilde key, or we can go up to terminal and new terminal. And we're going to do some things. We can do npn install uh, dash dash save. Make sure you have the dash dash save there. And we're going to do yttl slash core and space op opus script. And that should run through the whole thing. And it's going to install ytl and opus script and you shouldn't have if you get these warnings just ignore them these are just dependencies that are having some warnings if we spelled that right i think we did let me just make sure we spelled that right open script yeah cool so we have open script and ydtl make sure you install it this is just going to add um if you come here to node modules it's going to add it here so we can use it so make sure you have them installed i should have probably done that at the beginning of the video but we're doing it now Cool. Now we're going to import y, uh, YDTL, YTDL. So we're going to do a const YD, YTDL. It's kind of hard for me to say it. And then we're just going to require uh, YTDL uh, you know, dash core. And that's going to let us be, you know, let us use YTDL core on our project here. So what we've done is we added the YTDL core open script. And we also created the variable of the servers where we're going to hold all of our queue. All right, moving down, we are going to kind of start creating our queue here, but we want to make sure that, um, that there is a queue going on. So to do it, we're going to do if, and again, we're going to do not servers. So we're using that servers right here. Uh, and we're going to open this up with these brackets here and we're going to do message that guild that ID uh, and then this is basically an if statement and then we're going to do servers message that guild and I kind of repeat ourselves here guild that ID and we're going to do equals and it's going to be Q so we're kind of creating this Q here there we go so make sure this is very important if you have an if you have an error with the Q it's most likely this um, and some other stuff that we're going to do later on, but make sure you have this. Uh, this is a very important line here. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a variable for these servers right here. 
because uh, we're going to be adding that server that we're currently on, which of course is our Discord server. Uh, so we need to have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do var, we're kind of creating a new server. Server, it's going to be equal to servers. And then we're going to do message that guild that ID. And that is going to let us use the variable server, not servers, but server um, to kind of manage the server that's in their queue. And then for this, we are now going to add one more if statement. And this one's going to let us, uh, you know, play and start doing the functionality of the bot here. So we're going to start playing the music. So we're going to do if, uh, what we're going to check is if we're not in a voice channel. So if the bot is currently not on a voice channel, but you want to join it. Uh, so I do if message dots guild that connection so if we're not in a voice connection voice can i please type correctly today there you go and again this is not so if we're not in a voice connection then we are going to message that member that voice voice channel that join then we're going to do that right there and then then and we're going to add a function here so let's create a function and then we're going to pass the connection variable here and we're going to do another function later on. But right now we're actually going to create another function inside this function or we're going to call a function inside this function and then we're going to create the function. Kind of got a little bit of a tongue twister there, but we're going to just type play. Oh, that did not go correct. We're going to create a function called play. Excuse me. Why are you not letting me type play? No, no. I don't want any of that. Thank you. I don't know why I was doing that. Play connection, uh, comma message. Now this is a function that we haven't created. So let's go ahead and create this function. And this is where it might get a little bit difficult for you guys to follow. Just make sure to type in exactly what I'm typing in and I'll try to explain it as we go along. So we're gonna go all the way up to the front, the very front or the very first of the play command here. We're still inside the case. So we're still inside the play, uh, you know, function here. We're not really function. We're still in the play command. Uh, so make sure you don't do this outside, but we do it inside of the play here. We're actually going to create a function of ourselves. This is going to be our own private function that we're going to use to use uh, the functionality of adding the bot and also making sure the bot plays that link it should be a youtube link yeah most likely it's going to be a youtube link but play it as an audio and only an audio only so let's create the function and we call this function down there play so function space play and we also pass the connection and we also pass the message so let's go ahead and do that and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create that same variable so var server equals servers and in here message that guild that id so make sure you have that we are using this variable pretty much everywhere all right so now we are going to do a dispatcher so server dot dispatcher dispatcher equals connection connection dot play stream and this we're going to use our ytdl we're going to do equals connection dot play stream and this is where we're going to actually start playing uh, and adding that song into a queue. So we're going to open this up and then we're going to do YTDL and open it up one more time. And this is the function of YDTL here. Uh, so first we're going to do server that queue. That's the queue that we created. And that's going to be our first one in the queue. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to filter it. So right now what we're doing is we're kind of downloading um, the link into our bot here. But what we want to do is only download the audio because we don't want to download the whole video because that's going to waste a lot of bandwidth and that's going to make your bot run slower. And we don't want to do that. We want to make sure it is your uh, audio only and that's it. So we're going to open this up in these curly brackets here and we're going to type filter. Then we're going to type uh, colon and then in parentheses, we're going to do audio only. We could do video, video only, audio we want audio only. So make sure you have audio only there. So it only downloads and only plays the audio. I mean, I guess you can't play the video, but it only downloads the audio. So we're gonna do server that queue and we're just shifting the queue here. 
uh, for the next cues, the next songs that are queued. And then this is where it gets a little intense, and this is where most people will mess up, but uh, just follow along. We're gonna do server.dispatcher, not on, uh, and this is a function where we, um, I don't wanna get too into detail, but this is a function of the end, which is when it ends, the dispatcher ends. We're also gonna create another function, let me type function correctly, function, and there we go. Open that up. And if the server that Q zero, so back to first Q, then we wanna play the connection. So connection, and then we also wanna pass message. We wanna make sure you pass message there. Else, so make sure we have an else statement, else connection, connection. It's very hard for me to type today. I don't know what's happening. Are we typing that correctly? Connection. We'll see if we get any errors, but I don't think we're gonna get disconnect. I don't think we're gonna get any errors here. So there we go. This is the main function of our bot. Make sure you type this correctly. Uh, this is where most people are gonna mess up. So make sure you go watch you know, the video again and you type this as it is. All right, so we kind of created the functionality. Now what we're gonna do is we want to, first of all, push the queue so we're gonna come all the way down here, and after the variable that we created, we're gonna actually push the queue. So we're gonna do server that queue that push, and we're gonna push uh, rx1. So if I can, there we go, rx1. So that's very important, and I think that should be it for the play command. So let me check. So we're gonna open our terminal. I'm gonna clear everything there node space dot to start the bot we got no errors and let's go check our discord our bot is online so now we actually have to go and find a song that we want to play so i first have to pick a non-copyrighted song copyrighted music we're going to join the server actually we're not going to join the voice channel just yet what we're going to do is first of all i want to find a pretty i'll just do this one why not so right now if we do play and i got this beautiful song here it's a pretty short song it's gonna say you must be in a channel to play the bot uh so right there it's perfectly it's checking that you are currently not in a voice channel so you can't join it the bot can't join it now if you join a voice channel and you call for that bot one more time so let's do submission mark play it's gonna join it's gonna take a little bit and then there we go it's gonna start playing the song now we don't have functionality of leaving or uh, stopping or any of that just yet or skipping the song. We're gonna be doing that right now. So there you go, it actually works. So the functionality of the main part of the bot works. It joins um, and it's downloading the song. It's playing only the audio. Let's go ahead and just leave. That bot's gonna stay in there uh, unless we close it down, which that's what we have to do, close it down. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do the other two very important parts which is the skip and the stop because you want to skip it if there are you know multiple songs in the queue you can skip it and it's going to play the next song in the queue and stop if you want to completely stop everything and uh you know you know the bot leaves the server and yeah very cool so let's go ahead and we have to do it of course another case so we're going to do case and this one's going to be skip and this was actually very very easy you're going to do var server equals it's the same thing i'm actually just going to copy this right here it, this is the the main part that we're going to be copying and pasting throughout the whole entire video so var server equals servers uh message guild id beautiful uh, we're actually going to add the break just in case i don't forget and very simple to this is if the server that dispatcher and then we're going to do server dot dispatcher dot end so it's kind of like ending the loop and we're adding the next song in the queue. Very, very simple. Now, for the stop, this is going to be very complicated and it's just because there's a lot of numbers um, and the way I'm trying, I'm doing this method is a little bit different than most people do, uh, but I've just been used to it and it's a little bit better than most people, most other tutorials show you. So we're going to do another case, stop, and we're going to do another break, make sure we break. And here, of course, we're going to add that same variable of our server. And we're going to do if, 
I'm not going to explain much because it's going to get very complicated. And if you don't know much about programming, it might get, again, a little bit complicated. So message that guild that voice connection. And uh, we're going to do a for loop. So if you know programming, you know what a for loop. So for var i, and it's going to be equal to server dot q length. So we're checking the length of the q. And it's going to do minus one. And I'm going to do a semicolon. Then this is where we're going to do the loop. So i is less than or equal to zero. We're going to do another colon i plus plus i minus minus. Sorry. So i minus minus. And we're going to open this up again. And we're going to do server that q that splice. And we're going to do i and one. Again, very complicated. If you don't know what this might look like, uh, a bunch of numbers. It, this is basically just going to loop through the whole thing uh, and make sure we're kind of done with the queue. So now we're going to do server that dispatcher that end. And now we're actually going to do console.log. So console.log, and we're just going to log stop the queue just to make sure we can see it in the console. And we're going to do one more if statement right outside this other if statement. So if message, because this, this is where we're going to do where the bot leaves, guild connection. And then we're going to do message that guild can't type today. Not sure why. Very annoying. What is connection that disconnects? Disconnects. There we go. So after all of this, we are completely done. Now you might want to something like this, if it's very helpful, is send a message on the channel saying that you're ending the queue. So let's go ahead and do that because it might be uh, very important. So uh, message our channel that send um, ending the queue, leaving the voice channel for the stopping. And then up here, Let's uh, do it after that. We just do message that channel send. And then for this one, we're just going to do um, skipping the, the song or something like that. I, it doesn't really matter. You guys can think of something creative. We're going to clear everything. I want to space dots. And I think this should be everything for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and check right now. Let's just check the whole functionality so you guys see how it works. We're going to play it without being inside the, let me go get that song again. Without being in a channel, you must be in a channel to play the bot. Let's join it and let's play it. It's going to, oh, I didn't play it. Sorry. Let's do the command play. It's going to join. Let's actually lower the music a little bit. It's going to start playing the song. Beautiful. So it's just going to continue uh, all the way until it ends. When it ends, the bot is going to leave. And now let's try the stop command. Boom. It leaves. It closes everything. And then the bot says end the queue, leaving the voice channel. Very, very cool. Now let's try the skipping. Let's add multiple songs in our queue, uh, which is going to be pretty hard. Let's just play this song again. It's going to join. It's going to start playing. And let's go find a quick song real quick. Oh. That's gonna be very loud. Let's play this other song that I found. These are all non copyrighted music. That's why I'm kind of doing it. So I can make some money out of this video. And there we go. Okay, so now we have two songs in the queue. So if we do exclamation mark skip, it's skipping the song and it's playing the other song. It's a whole entire queue all the way until the queue ended. If I try doing skipping again, it's basically just gonna leave because uh, that's the end of the queue. Um, so there we go. Once again, the only problem with this bot that we have created is that we're not checking if the second argument is a YouTube link. So technically, if I do play and do this, it's going to join and it's just going to stay there because it can't find anything. Uh, you can easily just do stop and it's going to leave or I might have just broken the whole entire bot to be honest. Uh, we break the bot. We did break the bot. So. That's the only problem. Now there's going to be another video because I don't want to make this video too long, but it's not going to be a problem as long as you put a link. So if I do, first of all, we got to turn the bot on because it completely crashed. If we do something like this, it's going to be perfectly fine. 
Uh, again, I'll do another video. This really does get too, uh, you know, hard, or you guys might not be able to figure it out. Then yeah. All right. So let's stop this. Goodbye, bot. And yeah, guys. So that is the tutorial. I think this might be a long one. I actually can't check, but. Yeah, this is a very fun tutorial. This is when it starts getting a little more interesting. Once again, leave in the comment section below what kind of tutorial you want me to do next. Be specific, don't just be like generic, uh, but like an actual bot that I can code with you guys along. So this is a music bot. Um, again, I have to keep warning you guys. If it's not a link, it's gonna give you an error. I might do a video later on. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire video and I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.